Hello guys and uh, welcome into a uh, new BIOS update uh, video with the uh, MSI B450 Tomahawk Max awesome motherboard. This time you'll see that um, if we go into the MSI Dragon Center and uh, look f and scan for new available uh, drivers the uh, BIOS the latest BIOS version will not show up. Let's uh, give it just a bit of time. You see here we have only third-party utilities and uh, a new LAN manager software, although this one was installed yesterday. But as for now, uh, 1st of November 2019, uh, the current BIOS version is the uh, 33 one or the 330 um, so besides this uh, the Dragon Center doesn't show any uh, other new BIOS in order to download the latest one we need to go onto the MSI forums so uh, I will post the uh, exact link from the MSI forums in uh, the first uh, descript in the first link on the description video, this is exactly forum uh, en.msi.com slash index php and uh, the other topic. But don't worry, you'll have this link in the description of this video on uh, the first row. Uh, here we have the uh, new uh, BIOS version, the uh, AMD Agisa 1.004 patch B. We see a uh, full list uh, with the uh, motherboards available. The first is the X570 and here we have the uh, 400 series max uh, motherboards which uh, we want to download Right here we have the um, B450 Tomahawk Max uh, version. Click download. Here click on again uh, download, it should say right here. Right now, this is how uh, the uh, BIOS file looks, so it's, it will be the version 342. Uh, copy it on a uh, USB stick and uh, then we will uh, manually install it by going into the uh, BIOS of the motherboard. After you have uh, copied the uh, BIOS uh, file onto uh, your uh, USB stick, restart the PC. And uh, hit delete while the uh, Windows, it's uh, while the PC is restarting. Right now, press delete. And we are in BIOS. Again, right now we see the uh, current BIOS version 330, the B450 Tomahawk Max um, motherboard, the Ryzen 5 3600 CPU, and uh, of course, you know the um, MSI RTX 2070 Super Gaming X Trio GPU. Let's uh, go right here on the left tabs in uh, M flash. It's 
it says that the system will auto reboot and enter flash mode. Do you want to enter flash mode? Click yes. Now it says uh, enter in flash mode and it is really simple. We see that my uh, USB stick already appears here and the uh, BIOS file is the um, last one E7C02AMS.342 Scroll down I see that the keyboard doesn't work, so we need to uh, use the mouse, click on it. Are you sure you want to select this file? Click yes. And now the BIOS update process is starting. Please be patient, make sure you don't have any power losses, because uh, it will take a while. We see right now we are at uh, 5%. Down we have the uh, 38 degrees Celsius of the CPU and also the uh, 1700 RPMs of the uh, CPU cooler. and uh, then the uh, BIOS version 3.42 or 342 I'm really uh, um, I can't wait to see uh, if this BIOS version will bring even a greater stability than before personally I would recommend anyone to uh, to buy this uh, parts the Ryzen 3000 CPUs are amazing and also the uh, B450 Max motherboards are really affordable compared to the uh, X570 ones in order to support these CPUs without having to update the BIOS um, before Again, if you would like to purchase my uh, components, I uh, will be eternal grateful to you. Uh, if you will click the uh, links in the description. But for this video, I can assure you, the first link will be the uh, MSI forums where you'll be able to find right away this uh, new Agisa. Uh, 342 um, BIOS version. We see right now we are at uh, 50% so halfway there. Also um, as a recommendation after you will update anything on this motherboard uh, specifically or any uh, AMD uh, Ryzen 3000 ready motherboard no matter the software make another restart although it uh, says that it restarts by default after you have installed a new software version do another one so basically you restart it two times um, I, uh, I found out that it really decreases by a lot the bad chances of getting um, blue screen of death other than that uh, really this PC and CPU are amazing for uh, for streaming both on Twitch and YouTube at the same time uh, at the highest video quality settings possible 1080p 60fps 
without a problem even 1440p 60 fps but with some stutterings in Fortnite but without any issues in WoW and um, while gaming in 4K Ultra I mean what else would you want more? The video editing power again it's really impressive um, hands down it really worths buying these components still going at uh, 75% so you really have to be patient and just um, let the, uh, the system do its work ninety five percent and we're getting there to one hundred and now the system should uh, reboot twice let's see it shuts down so this is the first boot And now the second one. So it's perfectly fine, don't worry, don't touch anything. Until you are not logged back into Windows. So we see the uh, log screen. And now we're back in. Let's check the BIOS version by opening Dragon Center. Right here we see the um, okay. Let's see right now. So opening Dragon Center. And up there we have the latest BIOS version. You can see it AMS.342. It's as easy as that. Right now, keep in mind all your settings um, had before, like the uh, custom fan curve um, are uh, set back to default so if you want the system to be quieter you'll have to redo uh, that but it's really no problem whatsoever I hope this uh, tutorial was helpful again uh, you will have the MSI forum link on the first line of links in my uh, uh, videos description uh, and also in the comments section uh, just click on it and it will take you straight to their uh, website again if you want to purchase anything also look on the Amazon links um, on my channel you will help me really a lot and it will not cost you anything extra I wish you all the best and I'll catch you in the next one.